Topping our morning rush, the city of Santa Fe is under a microscope again after the state says their finances are still a mess. The state auditor's office was informed this week that the city will be late with not just its audit from 2021, but also 2022. The state auditor says the person responsible for tracking Santa Fe's finances actually quit because the city was so far out of compliance they have sent... An Espen, the old man is now facing first degree murder charges in the death of his five year old stepdaughter. Now, Malcolm Torres was initially and originally charged with second degree murder for the death of Renesme Calzada in 2019. Torres rejected a plea deal back in August. Now, yesterday, a grand jury indicted him on first degree murder. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. Bundle up this morning, wear those jackets and layers. It's cold, 49 degrees. By this afternoon, we'll be back into the upper 70s. It's going to be a warm and sunny afternoon. Shipments of nuclear waste from Idaho could soon resume and arrive in New Mexico. The New Mexico Environment Department suspended the shipments last month from an Idaho Department of Energy site. Idaho DOE officials say that they are now taking extra steps to make sure that the shipments do not leak or rupture. This morning we await a public response from former President Donald Trump following the final January 6th committee hearing. That hearing ended with a unanimous vote to subpoena testimony from former president himself. A final report of the panel's findings is expected to be by the end of the year. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is low. We just have the chilly temps this morning. Otherwise, a quiet day in store. Kroger and Albertsons, they are now in talks about a possible merger of the two grocery store giants. Kroger, which owns Smith's Grocery Stores in New Mexico, is already the top earning grocer in the U.S. Shareholders in the company say that the, the deal, rather, would make it easier to compete with Walmart. A new low-cost housing development could soon be coming to Santa Fe. The city is turning the land over to Habitat for Humanity to build five one-story homes within the next couple of months. The nonprofit will announce which families have been selected to move in. Erica. And let's get a check on traffic. The maps are clear this morning. No accidents or slowdowns. And tracker is heading south on I-25 near the Big Eye. Everything's moving at speed here. We will let you know as things pick up. A 35-year-old Italian musician had a brain tumor removed while playing saxophone in a Rome clinic. Well, that surgery lasted nine hours and the musician played the sax throughout the procedure. The patient was then discharged as of yesterday. Time now for the five facts. We start with number five here. An Albuquerque woman is an elite company this morning. Now just one of four women to earn a prestigious military title. After eight years of service, 26-year-old Staff Sergeant Krista Osborne was, has accepted the title of U.S. Army Drill Sergeant of the Year, a competition the Army describes as one of the most physically demanding and mentally tough challenges any soldier can face. And number four, APS has found an environmentally friendly way to cut costs when it comes to electricity usage. After breaking ground last year, the district has now flipped the switch on a $3.2 million solar project. The two-part project consists of a solar array on the roof of the Hetrisco Heritage Academy High School and a mega battery pack from Tesla that will store the energy to be collected. And at number three, we are going to be seeing some rain arriving for the weekend. So get out today while it's still sunny and dry. Temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 70s this afternoon. And number two, an Espanola man accused of killing his five-year-old stepdaughter has now been charged with first-degree murder. Malcolm Torres was originally charged with second-degree murder for the death of Renesme Calzada. Her body was found on the, in the Rio Grande outside of Espanola in September of 2019. Torres rejected a plea deal back in August. Now yesterday, a grand jury indicted him on a first-degree murder charge. The indictment says that Torres beat the little girl to death on September 7th, the day before the Amber Alert went out. Torres is scheduled to be in court later this month. Finally, number one for you, a huge development in the Taos County compound case where federal agents found 11 malnourished children and another dead. One of the adults arrested will be going to trial. The feds raided the property in Amalia in 2018, finding guns, ammo, the children, and the remains of a three-year-old boy. The group was accused of training the children to carry out, ter carry out terror attacks. One of the five adults arrested was Janie Lavelle, who was found incompetent to stand trial in 2019. That has since changed since yesterday.